what's up youtubers this is female dragon coming at you for the first time this is my first youtube video and i'm just gonna jump right into it no glitz and glam and a fancy introduction i'm going to be talking to you about um my first surgery my breast reduction is scheduled tomorrow morning and i know there's a lot of females out there who are kind of thinking about getting one or been wanting one for a long time and they're nervous about it or they're not sure how it goes um basically for me it's a lot of doctor visits um basically they usually require you to um talk to your primary care doctor about you know whatever issues may you may be having whether it's a lower or upper back pain or um i don't know something as simple as like you know um like dents from your bra strap which happens to a lot of females like us like me myself i'm a 40f yeah, and I didn't realize that until I went to, um, see, I don't know about everyone else, but I like to get, you know, uh, a few different places telling me my bra size, because sometimes someone will tell you a bra size and it won't necessarily be what you are. So I would, I went to Ashley Stewart, they offer it, um, the measuring, and then I also went to Victoria's Secret, and at first Ashley Stewart, they told me I was a triple D, which was not right because I would get triple D bras and I would still be spilling out in the top. And then I went to Victoria's Secret and they told me I was an F. So you see what I'm saying? So um, once I got um, an F bra, which I had to order online, that's another thing that we struggle with. We have to order our bras online because I mean, what store sells an F bra? That's actually supportive. If there is one, it's hell of expensive. Um, but yeah, once I found that out, I was shocked. I didn't think I was that big. But you also have to consider, like, um, whether you had a child or if you gained weight, your bra size will pretty much fluctuate. Um, so, yeah, that's what I am. And usually I would just wear bras that would just fit. Like, I wouldn't even pay attention to whether or not it fit all the way. And I wouldn't realize it until after I would have the bra. And if I tried to bend over or do something... I would have to constantly adjust my shirt to like, you know, make sure I'm not spilling out because that's super, super annoying. I can't stand that. Um, it's one of my pet peeves when it comes to women in bras. So, um, yeah, another thing is um, they, uh, of course, my breast reduction is going to be covered by my insurance. I'm still under my father's insurance. I think it's up until you're 26, but I don't think that's everyone's insurance i don't think it works out the same way um you just have to check with your insurance company <clears throat> um so once you go through that of course they're gonna want um proof like reasons why you want the re reduction whether it's causing you pains or anything like that and then there's also um i don't know just basically saying how it affects your everyday life like ever since i was little I had issues with my boobs. Uh, I started to develop in middle school and of course I was always made fun of for being the one with the biggest boobs in the class or something crazy like that. I just got teased about it like pretty much my most of my young life. Um, and now I've learned to kind of live with it but of course there are certain things that still bother me like I don't know not being able to wear certain shirts or dresses or anything like that because they're so big that they spill out or they just don't fit like even something as simple as a t-shirt I would have to get an extra large size because my boobs are so huge and they take up most of the space in the shirt um but yeah there's so many things to consider or just to think about like why you might want it done whether it's a physical thing like some women don't like the fact that their boobs sag I don't I don't like it because since I'm so big they they do come down like just being honest you know not very low but I don't know I'm 25 so no one wants to be 25 with their boobs hanging like I don't know that's just not reasonable to me I don't know but um but that's not the only reason like I said like with the bra straps like unless my straps are really thick they're gonna leave a dent I don't know if you can see the difference right there in my shoulder it um 
that kind of stop and like when they're really heavy and I don't know they say if you wear your bras all the time like even at night like when you sleep it'll help them sit up but not for us like it's it's just not gonna work like but um yeah anyway like I said you go through the process of them uh, doing your blood work and going through your um your background your health background your parents background have they had any medical issues or surgeries or anything like that and I think you do two visits like that um they're spaced out though like you do the first one and then the next one is like literally a couple weeks before your surgery um they said that it takes up to two weeks for you to heal and they give you like these tubes and the side to help you drain drain out um, and you have to measure the amount of fluid coming out of your body every day every hour and depending on how quickly you drain you can take the tubes out so that's gonna be really irritating for me uh, uh, what else and um, I'm trying to also think of a size that I want to go down to I don't want to take away from my body too much but I also don't want to be like too close to the size I'm already at you know what I mean like it's a struggle with that because I mean I think that my boobs now they match my body but then they don't I feel like they kind of overpower or take away from my shape because they're so huge like um I can kind of show you quick boob look And see the spillage like <laughs> it's too much um oh and don't mind the crappy tattoo please but yeah I, other than that um I'm excited I'm really excited just to be able to go to a store and pick out a regular bra size like a D like I'm so excited to be able to go to Victoria's Secret and shop for bras and not have to worry about my shoulders sinking in or you know having to buy a certain size in the shirt because my boobs are so big or not being able to wear two tops or whatever like you gotta think about it like that you can't let people get in your head and say are you nervous are you nervous like you just have to pretty much just go with the flow and think of it in a positive way like even though this is my first surgery like I said I'm trying not to think about it too much and my mom she's had a lot of surgeries like she's had a procedure like this <clears throat> done before excuse me <clears throat> and she's she's been through a lot so it's like why can't I do it you know it's a lot of women out here who's done it you might be surprised you should ask some of your friends um, family members or some of your family members who might have had it done and you never knew I found out my aunt had it done I didn't even know she did and it'll just make you feel better if you know anybody who's had it done ask questions don't be scared to ask questions because the more you know the more relaxed you'll be um yeah but um pretty much after the surgery is done i'm probably going to be miserable because i won't be able to shower like i want to they said you have to like take like bird bath showers like what the fuck like i don't know just it's going to be very uncomfortable but um i'm probably not going to do a video of me in the hospital if you want, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll keep people updated.